Welcome to Modi Makes. What's good, everybody? My name is Modi. This is Modi Makes, and today I'm gonna be taking you on a flight through the clouds with the birdies for a little bit of peace, relaxation, and meditation with my painting Float On. And yeah, I did name that after the Modest Mouse song. I was 13 when I went to a show for that album tour. So give me a little bit of a break, all right? So let's get into it, shall we? And we'll start where we always do by setting up the canvas for spray painting. Now the first thing that I'm gonna do here is set up a nice flat background color to build upon afterwards. And I'm gonna be going for an ethereal cloud scene in a sort of sunset color. So the first thing I'm gonna be starting with is a nice lavender purplish color. After I've hit the entire canvas with a flat color of that and let it dry, I have to come over to make myself my stencil for these clouds that I'm going to bring into this scene. Now I'm going to show you the best trick for spray painting clouds, especially if you want a nice little bit of abstract flair, but if used properly, you can even use this to make some very realistic ones. Now I'm going to err more on the side of abstract. So I'm going to be taking this nice thick piece of paper and tearing it up, but trying to keep it more aligned with that nice fluffy poofy pillow shape. Starting with that darkest pink, I'm going to take my stencil, lay it down, and spray a variety of those different shapes from the stencil all over the mid area of the canvas. Then because I'm keeping this abstract, I'm going to get a nice splatter painting with my spray paint going all across, getting nice drips and drops to keep some good texture in there. Then after that, I'm gonna grab my lighter pink, my mid color, and go a little bit lower from those darker pink clouds that I've done and continue that process. And once again, hitting with that splatter texture. Then to bring it all home, I'll do the exact same thing again with the white on the lowest part of the canvas. All right, fantastic. Now we have this beautiful abstract ethereal cloud landscape to build upon. So we can take that background that we finished up now and bring it over to the studio to get to our character and subject work. So the first thing we gotta do as always is lay down our pencil sketch. And the best way for me to be able to do this is always to take a photo of the background that I've created and overlay it with my sketch on Procreate so I can see where all my lines line up with the background I've created and most accurately transfer over the digital sketch that I've already created to get those proportions as accurate as possible and get the size of the figure on the canvas very accurate. Because with all these beautiful cloud images and the nice texture that this canvas has, I don't wanna cover up too much of it. I wanna leave a lot of negative space for the background to show through. And I want my character to work compositionally perfectly with the cloud shapes that I have so that the character gets framed perfectly and the background still shines through with all the beauty that it already displays. With my pencil sketch completed, we can let the Posca pens rain down and get into the nitty gritty of this character design. Starting as always from square one by laying down a black line on top of all of those pencil sketch lines I've already created so that we can see where our character is gonna be very clearly and move into the coloring stage afterwards. With those initial black lines completed, I can come back in with the black and fill in all the black fill areas and finally start getting some depth and shadow into this character. 
From there, I can move into laying down the color flats of my character and talk a little bit more about what this character is. This character is going to be an anthropomorphized bird character, one with a head of a bird and the tail of a bird, but the body, arms, and legs of a human. And this bird character is going to be floating through the air in this ethereal cloud, but not flying, meditating while floating like some monk that had unlocked the magical mysteries of the universe and given themselves the power of levitation so that they can meditate up amongst the clouds where there are no distractions. All right, with all those color flats laid down, it's time to get into the most important step for me as an illustrator and lay down that final line work, making sure to make it as clean as possible while still bringing in a variety of line weight by using a couple different sizes of black pens here so that you can get those nice thick to thin tapered lines that really give it sort of a brush-like quality while also maintaining a sort of calligraphy quality and that classic illustration style that I'm so well known for. Then with that final line work laid down, it's a matter of bringing in a little bit of detailing work with some hatch line shading and a little bit of patterning work to break up those larger areas of color. This just helps to bring some more interesting elements into the piece and make it a little bit more fun to look at as the viewer, you know, giving me more of that watch time and giving the viewer more enjoyment out of this piece. And with all that completed, the piece is good to go and ready to check out for those final shots. Well, there you have it, my peoples. My painting float on is complete. I love this cloud pattern that I created. And you know, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a like. And if you like me, you like the channel, and you want to help support me, the number one thing that you can do is to subscribe. I really couldn't thank you enough if you did. It means the world to me. With all that out of the way, and without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching.